السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم معكم أسدى قريشي مريم مرة أخرى لمقياس اللغة الإنجليزية لسنة الثالثة ليسانس علوم اقتصادية وتجارية وعلوم تسيير بكلا تخصصيها أو جي أو و أو أم بي أي اقتصاد وتسيير مؤسسة واقتصاد نقدي وبنكي درسنا الثاني نستمر في درسنا الثاني لنهار اليوم الذي هو تتم لما سبق أي الدرس الأول وهو الإنجليزية للاقتصاد وإدارة الأعمال أي English for Economics, Business and Management So again, let's start with our lecture today First of all, business is a word which is commonly used in many different languages The concepts and activities of business have increased in modern times Traditionally, the business simply meant its change or try or sorry trade for things people wanted or needed today it has a more technical definition one definition of business is the production distribution and sale of goods and services for a profit first production is the creation of services or the changing of materials into products one example is the conversion of iron ore into metal car parts. Next, these products need to be moved from the factory to the marketplace. This is known as distribution. A car might be moved from a factory in Detroit to a car dealership in, for instance, Miami, for example. Third, it is the sale of goods and services the sale is the exchange of a product or service for money goods are products which people either need or want for example cars can be classified as goods services on the other hand are activities which a person or group performs for another person or organization for instance an auto mechanic performs a service when he repairs a car. A doctor performs a service by taking care of people when they are sick. As definitions of the previous words, we have iron ore, which means rock or mineral, from which iron can be profitably extracted. I repeat, iron ore means rock or mineral from which iron can be profitably extracted. Next, Detroit is the best known as the center of the USA automobile industry, Metro Detroit. Next, business then is a combination of all these activities, which are production, distribution, and sale. However, there is another important factor this factor is the creation of profit or economic surplus. A major goal in the factioning of a business company is making a profit. Profit is the money that remains after all the expenses are paid. Creating an economic surplus or profit is therefore a primary goal of business activity. <coughs> Sorry. So, surplus means an amount of something left over when requirements have been met, an excess of production or supply over demand. Next, business is an increasingly important activity throughout the world today. Consequently, the opportunities for a business career have grown in variety and number. There are now five broad fields or areas of business that offer exciting careers which are management, marketing, accounting, finance and data processing. Within each of these fields there are specific jobs in which you can specialize. For example, within the field of marketing you can specialize in market research, advertising, distribution, buying or selling. 
general career opportunities that are available in the various fields of business are as follows. In the field of management, for instance, we have general manager, personal manager, production manager. In marketing field, on the other hand, we have researcher, advertiser, buyer, seller, or even distributor. Accounting, in the field of accounting, we have bookkeeper, private accountant, public accountant, government accountant. Finance, we have banker, financial analysis, analyst, and stock broker. In data processing, it's more in the computer science field, but we can have it also in the economics field, management and marketing field also. We have computer operator, computer programmer, and system analyst. At the end of our lecture, as usual, I have for you some questions to be answered. So please, would you please answer the following questions about the meaning of business? The first question says, what is the modern definition of business? How does this modern meaning of business differ from the traditional one? And what factors brought about these changes? I wish you will answer them and send them back to me uh, later on. And finally, I say to you, thank you and see you next time.